Hi, today's reading is called The Pumpkin Patch Parable. Please know that this book is not a celebration of Halloween. There will be no ghosts, goblins, demons, witches, or monsters here. My prayer is that through this simple pumpkin parable, your own heart will be filled with the light of God's love, and you too will let yourself glow. See the big red barn and those rolling green fields? That's where the farmer lives, way out in the country. It is so far out, the streets don't even have stop signs. The farmer grows lots of different things in those fields. He grows tall green corn and big red tomatoes, long yellow squash and little green peas. People eat that stuff for dinner. The best vegetables the farmer grows are pumpkins. They start out as flat oval seeds, almost as big as raisins. One hot June day, soon after school let out, the farmer planted pumpkin seeds, just like he did every summer. The seeds disappeared into the ground in nice neat rows and grew there in the dark, all through the 4th of July. Early one morning, a tiny green shoot quietly pokes its way out of the soil. Soon, a long green vine stretched across the ground. From that vine, little buds sprouted into wide green leaves. The leaves spread out flat to catch that August sun. Someday, those little green buds would turn into big orange pumpkins. But not yet. The patient farmer waited and waited. The pumpkins began to grow. How different they looked. Some were tall and lean, some were short and round. Some had lumps and bumps. All of them were pumpkins. October came at last. The sky was bright blue and the air was cooler. Every night it got darker earlier than it did the night before. It was time for the farmer to harvest his pumpkin crop. The farmer's many workers brought lots of ripe pumpkins in from the fields. Which one would he choose first? The farmer picked up one large pumpkin, being very careful not to let it slip through his hands. Pumpkins are tough on the outside, but break into smithereens if you drop them. He washed off all the dirt holding on tight. Next came the messy part. Pumpkins are full of dozens of seeds and lots of slimy pulp. The farmer had a special plan for his chosen pumpkin, so the seeds and the slime had to go. He slowly slid a large knife right into the center of the pumpkin. The pumpkin didn't make a sound because vegetables don't talk. If they did talk, the pumpkin might have said, ouch! Gently, the farmer cut a round hole in the top of the pumpkin and pulled out the stem. Squishy, stringy, pulp waited for him inside. Yuck! The farmer peeled out all the slimy pulp and wrapped it up in an old newspaper. Off to the compost pile it went, never to be seen again. Then something really exciting happened. The pumpkin got a new face. The farmer carved a triangle for each eye. Pumpkin has eyes that don't blink or turn away. They see everything. He neatly carved a little square for a nose and then a big wide smile. What happened next was wonderful. The farmer put a small white candle down inside the pumpkin and touched the wick with a flame. How that pumpkin glowed. As the sky drew darker, the pumpkin on the porch was shining brighter than ever. When people saw the smiling pumpkin, they smiled back. All the neighbors knew that once again, the farmer had turned a simple pumpkin into a simply glorious sight. In the same way, God the Father offers his children the chance to be made new, full of joy and full of light, 
shining like stars in a dark world. The end.